from the most awarded woman in Grammy history. Breaking the all-time record for the most Grammy wins ever by any female artist or any singer, male or female, the Grammy goes to... To assist these students helping the community with tax preparation, I'm Melly to you. I'm Marisol Hernandez, and SISD Channel 3 News starts now. In local news, on Monday morning, March 16th, a man was shot and killed by his 13-year-old stepson in a northeast El Paso apartment. Police are even calling the situation a murder, even though they have yet to charge the boy. Authorities have not yet released the young boy's full name and will not provide any further detail surrounding the shooting. In national news, President Joe Biden approved a $1.9 trillion pandemic relief package. In this package, individuals earning less than $75,000 annually will earn a $1,400 stimulus check. In addition, those who have signed up for unemployment benefits will continue to receive $300 weekly up until September 6. Developments and updates may still continue. SISD high school students are offering tax preparation services now through April 15th with GCU and with the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program. The sites are located at all SISD high schools. Taxpayers with an annual income of $60,000 or less can show up to one of these sites between 4.30 p.m. and 6.45 p.m. to file their taxes for us. Taxpayers who are disabled, elderly, or limited English speakers who make above the maximum income may still be assisted in their tax preparations. The process has been adjusted this year to incorporate safety measures and social distancing. Clients may drop off their documents at the high school through a drive through service. Volunteer income tax assistance students are trained and they actually receive three certifications that they can place on their resumes. They also gain community service hours. In other news, a baby from Palm Beach, Florida is the first to be born with COVID-19 antibodies after the mother got her first dose of the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine three weeks prior to giving birth. 2021, 4.58 p.m. and I just got my first COVID shot. Doctors said that they have to determine at what level of protection or how many antibodies infants need to have circulating in order to give them protection. And the big pharmacy companies are starting to include pregnant women in their ongoing studies of the vaccine. That's right, Elliot. In fact, SISD employee health clinics have distributed its first 100 COVID-19 vaccines to employees on Saturday, March 13th, as well as regularly testing not only SISD employees, but students as well. It's important to test, to get tested, because it is still possible to get COVID-19, even though you're vaccinated. Uh, studies have shown that it, it is still possible. Your chances are a lot smaller, but you can still um, get, get COVID-19. Now in entertainment. On March 14th, the 63rd Annual Grammy Awards took place in Los Angeles, with a new host, a new executive producer at the helm for the first time in decades, and the challenge of the year assembling pandemic award shows that don't seem like a video conference. This year's Grammy Awards was not one to be forgotten. Here are some of the winners. Best New Artist went to Megan Thee Stallion. <laughs> Album of the Year went to Taylor Swift. <laughs> Record of the Year went to Billie Eilish. Thanks for doing Best pop solo performance went to Harry Styles. Best Latin pop went to Bad Bunny. I'm very happy, I'm really happy, I'm very proud. Best dance recording went to Keitrana featuring Caliucci's. And finally, best R&B performance went to Beyonce. This was her 28th Grammy win, making her the most awarded female in all of Grammy history. <sighs> Thank you guys. Honestly, I find that quite surprising. I know, she wasn't going to show up and now she's making Grammy history. That's all the news we have for today. I'm Ali Dayu. I'm Marisol Hernandez. And this was SISD Channel 3.